Good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo, as well as Joe Bear in the house. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. So let's get open for business here. And let's wake up our football guys. Wake up here, guys. Wake up. Welcome to Hump Day on this short week for our Cowboys because we're going to be turning it around and Sunday playing the Cincinnati Bengals in what amounts to draft position. You lose that game, you move up another spot in the draft. You win that game, you probably hold, uh, you, you may slide back out a little bit. But at this point, I'm not going to say it's a given that we can beat the Cincinnati Bengals. You know, I, I just don't know what to do with this. I, I don't know what to do with this. I know in, in, inside I look at 2020 being a, a horrendous year. Uh, I understand, you know, I, we, we've lost so many players, so many starters. Our offensive line completely wiped out. You know, Zeke Elliott not quite seeming like he's getting there. We, we've had four different quarterbacks playing, and Andy Dalton, contrary to popular belief, you know, is literally a shell of himself, and not that that shell was ever that great to begin with. I understand that, you know, we have an opportunity that we can get rid of some of the dead weight and get some young talent in through the draft and get them on the field. I, I get that. I can see that picture. And this is, I guess, I think the five stages of grief where you're angry, you're sad, you have acceptance and, and so on. I guess right now I'm just angry seeing what I'm seeing for my team because I want you to take a look over here. I want you to look at this and let this sink in for a second because this is most points allowed by a Dallas Cowboys team in the history of the team in the 60 years because they have been around 60 years. The worst was in 2010 where we gave up 436 yards. In 2013, we gave up 432. 2004, 405. 1962, 402, and 2012, we gave up 400. And as we sit here today, right here, right now, with four games to go, four games to go, we're at 393 points given up in 12 games. I want you to understand that we are averaging giving up 32 Point six points a game. We are on pace to give up over 524 points on the season. You know, I recorded on my stream deck, you know, this season has been such a disappointment. In the off season, I took my time, I took my money, I took my hopes, my dreams, and I started to reinvent my studio. You physically don't see, you know, another locker like I usually do. But I went out, I got me an Alienware computer. You know, I, I got it loaded down with everything I needed. I bought more monitors. I bought another mic mixer. I, I ended up building the outdoor set so that way we could live stream out there, getting more TV so that way we could see multiple games at the same time. I got the setup over in here as well. I went through, I got my stream deck, I got, uh, and I keep constantly evolving it because I thought that this season, we were going to see some really good football of the Dallas Cowboys. And I was looking to take a big step forward in creating my own media, whatever you want to call it. I got all this stuff together. I finally learned how to use it. I'm, I'm honing my craft. And then I watch trash. I got to literally talk about trash. And every week, this clip on my stream deck, is so fitting. It, it's it's crazy. Well, what happened was that second game, we got our ass kicked, or the second half. We just got our ass totally kicked. We couldn't do diddly poo offensively. We couldn't make a first down. We couldn't run the ball. We didn't try to run the ball. We couldn't complete a pass. We sucked. The second half, we sucked. We couldn't stop the run. Every time they got the ball, they went down and got points. We got our ass totally kicked in the second half. That's what it boiled down to. It was a horse 
performance in the second half. Or I'm totally embarrassed and totally ashamed. Coaching, we all, all, our coaching did a horrible job. The players did a horrible job. We got our ass kicked in that second half. It sucked. It stunk. Okay. I couldn't put it any better than that. That is 100. Every single thing that Jim Morris said right there is where we are. Now, I get it. I know we don't have the talent on the field that we should, you know, that our offensive line, that maybe things would be better. But I got to say, this Mike McCarthy experiment has got me worried because since, I think, September of 18 or when he beat us, the last time he beat the Cowboys, Mike McCarthy is 7-21. and 21. We got sold a bill of goods about analytics and how he broke down all the Cowboys film and he knew every single thing about us where he was you know, coming in as the hot coach. But we are so inept. We don't understand that we need to take a timeout before the kick because the guys aren't set up. And we take a penalty and get backed up five yards and miss the field goal. We're so inept that we can't even kick a field goal. That we literally missed three field goals. And as far as this defense goes, can somebody tell me where the hell this guy is? Where, where, where is this guy? Smith has heard the whispers out there that he and Leighton Vander Esch aren't playing quite as well as they were last year. How did you play, watch this? I mean, he just showed up. You talk about where is sudden, this guy? Watch 54. Who's actually making tackles right and really hitting people? We always talk about defensive backs tackling in the secondary to prevent yards after catch. Because all I see now with Jalen Smith is this: Jalen Smith being a freaking cheerleader. Jalen Smith, yeah, high fiving, up with Lamar Jackson, tapping him on the helmet, smiling in his face. Because I don't see Jalen Smith doing diddly. Who? I see Jalen Smith literally jogging on tackles. Lamar Jackson, go watch the tape. Watch the tape. Lamar Jackson goes up the middle. Jalen Smith runs about three yards and then just jogs while he's going 35 yards down the field. Our defense gave up seven plays of over 20 yards, and I believe four plays of over 30. How you get the feel to do the swipe? How you get the feel to high five? How you get the feel to even smile on the field? I don't get it. I don't get it. That was an embarrassment. There's no other way to quantify it. And I'm sitting here looking and thinking about the play calling where we keep doing wide receiver screens. We ended up doing a screen to Zeke Elliott. And the very next play, the very next spot, do a wide receiver screen right there. And those two plays, we end up losing four yards. I just don't get it. Zeke Elliott was actually chewing up about five and a half yards on the ground. One of the few things that was actually working last night. And we don't run him. I have to say that... Everything on the Dallas Cowboys right now is horrendous. It's terrible. And this goes beyond just the players on the field. You have now given up 309 yards on the ground to the Cleveland Browns. You have now given up 292 yards to Baltimore. And you can say all you want that Baltimore, you know, they have Lamar Jackson, who was the MVP last year, that their talent is better and everything else. But I want to tell you that 20 of their players have been on the COVID list and literally just got out by Saturday. In the last two weeks. Didn't practice. Had COVID. Our team is so bad, we didn't even catch COVID. There needs to be a long, long look by Jerry Jones at the end of the season at Mike McCarthy and this whole coaching staff as well as a lot of the players on the field. Jalen Smith had that one really good season 
But now it seems like he's Mr. Hollywood. And I'm not talking about Hollywood Henderson. Because I don't see it on the field anymore. At all. There was thought that he was one of the best young linebackers in football. Right now, I can't say that. I got to say, where is Jalen Smith? All right, y'all. I'm going to be out in the bad zone most of the day, so I won't be able to upload too much. But what, what, what are you going to upload? What, are you gonna, what do you have to say that's positive about this team? You see Joe Boo over here puking his guts out on the toilet, praying to the porcelain god. You literally are a glutton for punishment watching the Dallas Cowboys play right now. After seeing the the 70s and in the 80s and the 90s Dallas Cowboys, even when times were bad, I don't ever remember them being this bad. But I guess we got nowhere else to go but up. I'm Mark Holmes, and I hope you have a good hump day. It's going to be a short week, so at least we maybe we can get this bad taste out of our mouth uh, come Sunday. I'll see you guys soon.